those are some awesome kicks. Oh, these are my boxing shoes. <laughs> Let me tell you, the one thing all shadow hunters have is really cool shoes. I mean, we've got great boots. These are these are my boxing shoes. These are for when I'm working out, and I'm in love with them. I they think are, they're great. I need a pair of those. Yeah. So when you first heard about this project, how was it presented to you, and what was your reaction when you led the role? I actually knew about the, the, the Mortal Instruments universe from the film, because okay. I had previously auditioned for the film way back when. And when I received the info about the audition for the uh, TV show, originally it was for Jace, I auditioned for Jace, and then I went in like, I don't know, a few weeks later for Alec, and then I didn't hear anything, and then one night I get a phone call at 8 p.m. saying, hey, you're flying out to LA tomorrow at 7 a.m., and then you're gonna test that afternoon, and man, it all just sort of happened all of a sudden. And it was, it was overwhelming when they said, hey, you got it. And my agent and manager, they call up with this kind of, you know when they're calling at me and something bad or something good happened, and they, but they, they tried to not tell me and it was a whole thing. But in the end, it was just very exciting. And I was in the airport on the way home when I found out basically, like right before the airport. So it was a very, it was a very smooth <laughs> flight. That's awesome. So getting to know, I mean, this is an ensemble cast, and yes. there's been some specific training that you guys have needed to do. Mm -hmm. Has that been kind of a bonding experience for all of you? Oh, for sure. In fact, if anything else, I think we spend either the most of our time is on set or working out. I mean, okay. and we do a tremendous amount of it. Also, uh, we support each other with it. Um, we've all gone over, you know, a transformation into the shadow hunter body mm -hmm. uh, because... Obviously, you know, our mundane selves are not quite as, <laughs> as good looking or put together, right, as the shadow hunter self. So we're always seeking the shadow hunter ideal. But uh, we've definitely spent an enormous amount of time also fighting with each other with some sword work and also just various uh, forms of martial arts and training for, for actual stunts. So it's, it's been a tremendous bonding experience. You've also got the added layer of archery, correct? Yes, I so do. So what's that been like? Oh, that, that was going? fun. You know, I was actually surprised. It's actually kind of scary because I was surprised with how simple it was to fire this, this, this arrow and how accurately you can fire it and how quickly it becomes a kind of second nature to aim and fire and release and it hits its target. And you think, oh man, that's, that's kind of scary. It's, it's dangerous. Mm -hmm. But I've really enjoyed it, and it looks cool, which is fun. Ar archery is kind of all the rage at the moment, too. Yes, I mean, I we've mean, got that Katniss lady. And then there's Who's Hawkeye, heard of her, and then there's Hawkeye. I mean, come on, it's everywhere. Who would win of the four of you? In Obviously, Alec would win. Why are you even wasting your time <laughs> with that question? Well, he has the supernatural advantage. Yes, he's too. physically superior. Yeah. He's got lightning-quick reflexes. They don't mm -hmm. stand a chance. So in your, in your everyday life, are you referring to other people as mundanes or mundies? Oh, no. <laughs> I would never. Because, you know, it's, it's, it's got a kind of a, a derogatory, uh, you know, sort okay. of voice to it. But, so I, would, I wouldn't, even though I might call myself a mundane. Do you find some of the lingo is kind of carrying over into your everyday life? Like... <laughs> Or you find yourself having to explain to people because I mean, there's a whole dictionary like an encyclopedia oh, yeah. that no. goes along with this. Um, if I'm like explaining to my mom, you know, I say, "Oh yeah, so we're doing this scene. We're discussing the accords and uh, the clave, and there's some difficulty back at the clave with my mom and dad. And then my parabatai is all upset. And what is she looks? What the <laughs> what the heck are you talking about? What is yeah. this? What are you saying at me? So, I uh, generally avoid the terminology if I'm speaking to a mundane. Okay. <laughs> so um, there is so much buzz online. The fans of this of this franchise um, are so passionate about mm. everything to do with it. And one thing that they are dying to see is Malik. Malik. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Which is actually one of my favorite relationships in these books. So um, what can you tease about that dynamic and maybe a little bit of how we first meet that relationship. First of all, I would say there's been some concern amongst people, it seems, that Malik won't happen or it won't happen according to, you know, some sort of lovely way. I assure you that Malik is a very important uh, story 
in, okay. in, in the show. And um, we meet each other in a, a kind of, you know, I see him and I think, what is this? Who, mm -hmm. who are you? And uh, Alec obviously is not very open with his feelings and, and he's not really what you would say is a sort of a, a romantic at the moment. Mm -hmm. But when he first meets, from the time he first meets Magnus, there's a kind of a change mm -hmm. and that grows over the course of the season. Yeah, leading up to that, I, I think that, that Alec's always been kind of more guarded and more by the book. You mm -hmm. probably, you'd probably agree. Guarded is a very good word, yes. Yeah. Um, with, with meeting Clary is a bit of a challenge because he... Clary, Clary's an interloper. Yeah. She comes in and she ruins everything. Yeah. I mean, Alec has, has his stuff figured out. He's mm -hmm. got his world figured out, and he, and he likes it that way. Mm -hmm. Because if you add in new... Uh, factors, it starts to mess with his ability to push things out of his head, push things out mm -hmm. of mind. And Clary is just trouble for Alec yeah. from, from day one. Mm -hmm. and, and he knows it. And what can you tease about the relationship with uh, Alec and Isabel? You know, we've got this brother and sister. Oh, they, they, Alec, Alec and Isabel love each other. I mean, you know, that's at, at, the, at the core of it. It's his, it's his sister. And, mm -hmm. And she cares about him immensely and about his happiness. Mm -hmm. And that becomes very relevant to the story as, as Alec sort of tries to push away things that, he, that are actually for him and um, tries to do what he feels is his responsibility or his, his, his professional um, responsibility. Are you, are you really looking forward to, to the premiere episode? and seeing everyone's reactions to Oh, it. yeah. I mean, come on. I mean, it's tremendously yeah. exciting. Yeah. And the first episode is really great. And we, we, we've gotten to see a little bit of it. And obviously, we filmed it, so we know. But when it does release, I think people are going to be very, very, very excited. 